Hello everybody and welcome back to X4 where I'm pretty sure this one over here is the nav beacon that we need. I've found this of course via the long range scanning mode, but let's just come on over here and see what we can find. But I'm quite certain we haven't been up over here. I'll go ahead and exit travel mode. Asteroid. Where is that nav beacon? Is it on that asteroid? No. I think we just bypassed it. Pretty sure it was right over here. Danger. Hazardous region detected. Yeah, I'm aware of the hazardous region. Okay, where did that thing go? allegedly right here. Yeah, it's right here. Nav beacon. Gotcha. Okay, this has to be the one that we didn't get previously. There we go. Hmm? Ah, oh, there we go. Great work, assistant. Location. Can do? What location? Why would anyone hide something valuable out here and then leave such an obvious trail of breadcrumbs? Be on your guard. Oh, I'm always on my guard. Danger. Hazardous region detected. That's why we have our carrier group on the way in. Okay, so what region are we supposed to go to? I think this isn't actually set to active currently. Yeah, it's not. Okay, so we need to head over this direction then. How far out is that? Sentinel. 26 kilometers. Okay. That's actually a ship. A civilian ship. Interesting. We'll head into travel mode. Accelerate our way up a little bit. I'm gonna drop travel mode right now. And we will just drop down to our normal cruising speed. Is this still within the danger area? I don't know, but I'm going to burn some of our shields in getting in here. There's a Perinus ship. It's hailing us. Let's go see what this is all about. We may have rammed it a little. Okay. Has the time come, then? Has the last remaining pretender finally acknowledged my presence? Cannot be the Holy Order who sent you. Decades have passed, and barely a soul has strayed into this wasteland. Who are you? So the musings of the holy three-dimensionality have guided your steps toward this most remote of places. Very well, then. I go by the name of Cromackenstrat. I have witnessed the Holy Gates close and open again, and I have reaped a bountiful harvest from the void in between. But somewhere along that path, the purpose that once drove my kin was torn asunder. Did Gride seriously send us all this way to find this philosophizing waste of carbon? When the Pontifex thralls arrived to claim new territory, only a shadow remained of the once daring free people that called this place their home. Oh, hang on a minute. I think I just worked this out. Ask him his opinion about the war. Just trust me on this one. When does this sea of ruin, this irredeemable haven of May be a lesson to those who put ambition before unity. Reopening of the gates? The realignment, as glorious as it might seem in the grand scheme of history, planted the seed of the conflict we witnessed today. Their desire to be whole again had already driven the many isolated parishes to appoint grand leaders from among their own congregations. When the holy three dimensionality finally reached out and tied together the lost gates. Every Pontifex, whatever their character, saw their claim challenged by a horde of pretenders. What about the war? This civil war is a travesty, a mark of shame for all parody, invoked by desire, sparked by obtuse geometry, and fueled by blind dogma zealotry. The Pontifices, both pretenders in their own way, may attempt to reach out and guide us into their light. But this conflict has defined us for too long. 
promise of personal gain weighs too heavy for some. No physical wall has been planted between my brethren, and yet, despite our three eyes, we've lost sight of each other, and thus, of ourselves. Fascinating. Bingo. I think I'm starting to understand why Greta sent you here. Let me talk to him in private for a moment. Okay. I'm just pulling back over here because uh, our shields are kind of depleted. Thanks for waiting, my friend. I just got us a backstage pass to the peace negotiations. Excellent. Outsider, I have decided to conclude my contemplative isolation. You are among the chosen few who will help pave the way for my grand return or for the ultimate defeat of my cause. I think he just wants you to keep an eye out for potential hazards while he works. Okay, so now we need to accompany him. He is a speedy boy. Okay, we'll head into travel mode. He's a very speedy boy, in fact. Forty six hundred meters per second. That swift. He's gonna keep pulling ahead of us for a while here. In fact, he's gonna keep pulling ahead of us forever until he gets to his destination. The good news is his shield's regenerated. His hull was only at ninety four percent. That's pretty impressive, really. Okay, so we need to fly jump straight on through this jump gate. Redress. That's fine. And... We can, uh... Pull our carrier over here. This guy is really cruising. Autopilot. Engage. And actually, I just want the autopilot on for right now. Well, we'll catch up to him as soon as we can. But it looks like that's gonna be a while because he is just booking it. So in the meantime, we could work on setting up some carrier groups here. Autopilot disengaged. Um, why? Autopilot engaged. The autopilot appears to be... Okay. <laughs> Interesting way to go through the jump gate, autopilot. I'll take it. Pegasus, Sentinel. He's still outrunning us. likely. Okay, the autopilot was just going to crash us into that asteroid a little bit, but we'll just come on up over here. And we will begin braking, because he appears to be at his destination. We approach the site of our first confrontation. The time has come to once again wear that dreaded face. May the negotiations commence. We will require our entourage to ensure that we remain undisturbed. Okay. There he goes. 
So we're awaiting negotiations. Okay. Presumably we're going to be attacked. I don't mean to interrupt whatever it is you are doing. I am detecting a ship with an obfuscated signature lifting off from that station. Just as Kermakit Sloth started his negotiations. This can't be a coincidence. Nothing to see. I have a limited amount of time to approach this, huh? Comms channel open. Okay. Goodbye. How approach do I need to get? Is this approached enough? I literally rammed them. Okay. Apparently ramming them doesn't count as approaching them. Eight seconds left. Oh, okay. Kaboom. That must be the mystery ship, or what remains of it. Why does everyone we encounter keep blowing themselves up? Well, at least we've gained some valuable information by coming out here. Have we, though? How? Well, because that, my friend, was an Argon-made ship with Paranid weaponry. Ah. There are more parties involved in this than I anticipated. Colossus. Asteroid. Perseus, Sentinel, Perseus, Sentinel. Our negotiations with the Holy Order leadership were brief and inconclusive. However, it appears that our endeavors have not gone unnoticed. Okay, so we need to kill these guys. Roger that. There's a fair number of them. I'm pressing F. I want them to engage. Those attackers are holy order. Hatikva's mercy. How did this happen? Perseus, Sentinel. I'm sure it will. Oh, seriously? Kaboom! Okay, I didn't expect to be taking that kind of damage. Interesting. So, it's gonna take us back to the save then. Luckily, I know... I know now where the uh, location is, but that is certainly interesting. I was definitely not expecting to die there. I just wasn't even paying attention to our damage level. Huh. Okay. Well, that's a thing. It's probably going to take a while to load. In that case... I know exactly what we need to do. <laughs> and we need to move in the carrier group. So, we know where we need to go. So we're going to start the carrier group moving ASAP. We're going to continue that game. And we're just going to set the carrier group to destroy enemies in that region. It's going to take the carrier group a while to get there, but uh, yeah, that was definitely more damage than I was expecting to take. What is the difficulty of that mission, I have to wonder? And can we skip the dialogue? Because that was quite a lengthy dialogue. I'll have to check. There may be a skip dialogue button. I hope there is. I really wasn't expecting to die there. I mean, it did tell me to be careful, and I could have been more careful. <laughs> There's no doubt about that.
I mean, if we can't skip the dialogue, I guess that gives time for the carrier group to come in. I could put a cut in, actually, and skip skip all of that time. Get the carrier group in position before the next episode. That is a possibility. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's just let this load up here. I'm not going to put the cut in immediately because I want to do a little bit of work first. So we're going to let this load up. Nav okay, beacon. that's not the nav beacon we're looking for. We are looking for a nav beacon that is, let's see here. I believe it is one of these nav beacons. I think it's this one. But regardless, this isn't what I want to do just now, because like I said, I want to make sure that we have those locations good to go. I believe we wanted to move the carrier up over this way. So we'll take the carrier group up there. And it will get started moving. And in the meantime, I want to get our next two carrier groups started. Oh, wait, these... Right. It's after the dialogue that these get finished up. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's my own fault. Well, I guess we'll go to the nav beacon over here. And... No, no, nope, not autopilot. I want to be in travel mode right now. And we're going to head up over here. Yeah, I just, I wasn't expecting them to tear through my shields that quickly, let alone my hull. But that's my own fault. I just didn't bother preparing. Okay. So we'll grab this nav beacon here. Yes, indeed. Was it right here? Pretty sure it was. Uh, maybe it wasn't this one. Uh, let's see here. It was one of these outlying areas, to be sure. Yeah, it wasn't over here. Okay, well, it was one of these. We got that nav beacon for sure. I really was not expecting to die. Was it perhaps Danger. Hazardous region detected. Yeah, I'm well aware. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not that way. Regardless, I think I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here a little bit early, and I'll get us back to the point where we were previously. In the next episode. Oh, it's because I'm upside down. That's what's throwing me off right now. So let's just boost up over this direction a little bit. And it should be over on, I believe, the other side here. Uh, didn't see it over that way. Anyway, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. And next episode, we'll be back to where we were. But this time, I'll have the carrier group in place. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time. Danger.